Ooh, our boy Jeff Zrebic came in clutch at the very end of this post-game press conference on Monday. John Harbaugh had uh, Jeff Zrebic asked a two-part question at the very end. And he asked first if Lamar Jackson was straight. And then John Harbaugh was like, yeah, Lamar Jackson is good. No worries there. Uh, but then Jeff Zrebic talked about, he said, John Harbaugh, you, you mentioned that you got some guys that could still be returning, some possible guys returning from IR and whatnot. But you didn't mention David Ajabo. What's the status with him? What can we expect from him? What's going on with him? And Harbaugh, he looked down, looked up again, looked down, looked up again. And he said that he expects to make an announcement. He said he didn't, didn't want to make an announcement, but he's going to make an announcement. They're going to make an announcement on David Ajabo very, very soon. Now, I, I, I waited because that press conference was a couple of hours ago. So I waited. Usually transactions are announced around like 4 p.m. Eastern time. So I waited. I was saying, all right, maybe they'll announce it today. We ain't going to talk about it yet. We'll wait. But still nothing has come out yet. But it just doesn't really sound good. It doesn't. Even Jeff Zrebic himself, like he said, his words, he said, he, uh, John Harbaugh said that the team will have an announcement shortly on David Ajabo, which obviously isn't great news. So it, it doesn't sound very promising. Um, and that would be unfortunate. Uh, when they talked about, like with, with Marcus Williams, I was uh, skeptical when he said that, when they said it was a pec injury, and we know those could be season ending, but they were like, oh, he's going to rehab on his own. You're not going to have surgery. Like, oh, okay, all right, we'll see what happens. And he came back. He came back. Now, he came back with one arm, but he still came back. Um, but then with David Ajabo, um, and we know he, this is his first full year back with, from the torn Achilles, um, but he had been dealing with some injuries. Like, and and y'all, this, this is why I say you cannot discredit fans. A lot of y'all saw some stuff from David Ajabo, like in preseason and training camp and stuff. A lot of y'all said when y'all looked at him that he just didn't have that same get off. He didn't have that same burst. And I was like, well, I don't know. But apparently he didn't. And y'all said that he was dealing with issues. It seemed like he was dealing with issues even back then. And now for this to come about. And not only did he have an ankle injury, not only did he have a knee injury, but he had knee and ankle injuries. So he had the twofer. So that makes it that much worse uh, for a David Ajabo. But John Harbaugh, when he spoke about him a couple of weeks ago, he was like, hey, well, David Ajabo, he'll, he'll have a decision to make. And obviously, whenever John Harbaugh says that, that means the player has a decision whether they want to do surgery or whether they, they want to try to rehab. And David Ajabo did say, he confirmed it himself. He said he's going to try to rehab, and Harbaugh had said it too. But that, I'm, I'm super skeptical with that one. Um, so... If he doesn't come back, I won't be surprised. It'll be very unfortunate. And it will just be a very, man, <clears throat> just a tragic start to his career. Hopefully it doesn't end like this, uh, but it's just a tragic start. Uh, because obviously he's getting ready to probably be a first-round pick. He's working out and whatnot at his pro day. Then boom, torn Achilles. Done. Most likely done for the year, but we'll see. So we saw Ravens drafted him in the second round. They're like, all right, we'll take a flyer on him. We'll see. Well, not necessarily a flyer, but this will be like a red shirt year for him. He comes back a little bit early. It's like, oh, he, he actually played this year. Okay. He plays for a game and some change. Then that's it. It's like, all right, well, that's promising for next season. Now we get a, a David Ajabo, fully healthy David Ajabo. All right, let's go, baby. Let's get it. David Ajabo comes through. Again, a lot of y'all notice he didn't look himself. And then now he gets hurt. Now he got a knee and ankle issues. So with whatever this announcement is, whenever we do get this announcement, um, then, yeah, it doesn't sound like it's going to be too good. But one thing that I do appreciate about these Baltimore Ravens is that they have been proactive instead of reactive when it's come to this. Because uh, David Ajabo, outside linebacker, David Ajabo, pass rusher, David Ajabo, somebody who you want to get to the quarterback. So when you lose somebody that's an outside linebacker, somebody that to get you pressure, somebody that's supposed to get to the quarterback, what do you need to do? You need to replenish it. But the Baltimore Ravens, they stay one step ahead because they have brought in Jadavian Clowney a bit earlier. Now, uh, Tyus Bowser with him. Um, I thought that Kyle Vannoy was going to be essentially his replacement. I uh, remember when Tyus Bowser, when the, the Ravens all first reported back to the facility, the facility uh, early this offseason, uh, Tyus Bowser was sort of limping a bit. And I was like, oof. A lot of y'all were like, oof, too. Um, and then the Ravens, they brought in Kyle Vannoy for a visit. And it was like, all right, Kyle Vannoy, similar to Tyus Bowser. They can rush the passer, but they can also drop back if need be. They sort of a do-it-all linebacker. Uh, and we've seen Kyle Vannoy just... 
he has been amazing for the Baltimore Ravens. They like picked this dude up in the middle of the season and he's balling for him. Um, but it seems as if not only was he a to a, a fill in for Tyus Bowser, but more so for David Ajabo too. And when they signed uh, Kyle Vanoy, I said that I, I just it didn't look good uh, for because that was both when Adafi away and David Ajabo were out. But for me, I just felt like this was more geared toward David Ajabo. Um, and it just it didn't seem like whatever news we were going to get on him didn't seem like the injury that he was dealing with, uh, that it was going to be very promising or, or we were going to get any good news on it. But it's still to be determined. Uh, but, yeah, if Harbaugh, if Harbaugh didn't say like because he'll usually let us know like, oh, no, no yeah, they'll be back. They'll be back eventually. He may not give us a timetable on stuff, but he usually will let us know. Like, if he expects somebody to be back, then he'll say it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, he, he should be back soon. He'll be back shortly. He'll be back in a couple of weeks. He'll be back. So he'll usually say that. But for him to say, oh, uh, we expect to have an announcement on that soon. Mm, it's, <laughs> yeah, that's not good. And uh, we talked about this in the live stream a bit yesterday, but the Ravens, they... They have a thing, and they've done it so many different ways over the, just the past couple of years alone, where they are willing to take a chance on somebody uh, and give them sort of a red shirt year with the team. Remember a couple of years ago, Juwan James, Denver Bronco, um, he was working out outside of their facility, away from the team, towards Achilles, done for the year. Um, the Broncos said, we're cutting you, we're not paying you, your bonuses and stuff and all that, because... That is, you, you got hurt away from the team. If you got hurt with the team, okay, we will pay you, but you got hurt away from the team. That's on you, not on us. Give us some money back. All right. So they cut him. Then the Ravens, they swooped in and said, you know what? Oh, he's injured, but we know he can play some. You know what? Let's take a chance on him. So we'll sign him to the team. Low risk, p potential high reward. We'll give him a shot. We'll sign him to the team. We know he's hurt right now, but we'll have him for the following year. And they did that. So Juwan James, following year, got healthy and whatnot. It's like, all right. He ends up being, I think, the starting right tackle for the team. But then what happened? First game of the season against the New York Jets. He either tore his Achilles or tore his ACL. One of those two. Done for the year. Didn't work out. All right, cool. They also, same thing with David Ajabo. Again, we talked about it. Tore his Achilles at his pro day. Ravens like, you know what? This is supposed to be a first round pick. We'll take him in the second round. So we're getting a steal. And this will be a red shirt year for him. This is his first year. But the second year, oh, yeah, we're going to get him. And we, of course, already talked about how that's worked out so far. That story's not done being written yet, so we'll see. Uh, but also, Andrew Voorhees, he got hurt. I believe he was lifting weights at his pro day, too. I forgot exactly where he got hurt at, but he got hurt. Uh, and his season is done. It got done before it even got started. But the Ravens were like, they were all out of draft picks. But they said, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's, let's redshirt this guy because he could be something for us in the future. So they traded back into, what, the seventh round, I believe. Then they drafted Andrew Voorhees, and now they have him this year, but he's obviously not going to play this year. But next year, hey, we'll see. We'll see. So they have this thing that they've been doing recently where they've been taking chances on injured players and just hoping that it works out. So far with Jawan James, it obviously didn't work out. Hope the best for him. With David Ajabo, it hasn't worked out yet thus far, but, again, we'll see. Uh, and with Andrew Voorhees, we'll see about that in the future as well. Um, so all three completely different situations. All three were handled completely differently. And we just got to wait it out to see what the results are going to be for the last two. Um, but even though that is bad news about David Ajabo, the news about Lamar is great. Um, I mean, when he... Who was it that tackled him? Was it Bobby? I think it was Bobby Wagner. But tackled him, sort of twisted him up a little bit, and Lamar was limping. And we all were like, oh, no, 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 no. We ain't having that. No, not this year. Nope, nope. We already dealt with this injury bug for the past, like, three, four years. We tired of it. We're done with it. Um, but Lamar, when, so he came out the game, because Ravens were up 30-3. to three. He ain't, he ain't got to do nothing else. Uh, and when Tyler Huntley was in, and Tyler Huntley threw that touchdown to Odell Beckham Jr., oh, Lamar Jackson jumping up and down, celebrating, going crazy, happy as ever. Oh, I think his leg and his knee, his ankle, whatever. I think he's just fine. We saw that yesterday. So I ain't got no worries about uh, Lamar Jackson. So that, that, that should be good. He also talked about uh, Kevon Seymour. He said Kevon Seymour had an MRI, came back good and whatnot. But he, no, he said he had an x-ray. And that came back good. But he, he got to have an MRI just to double check everything. And <clears throat> Harbaugh said at the time that he hadn't got the results of that yet. So they're still waiting to see what's up. With Kevon Seymour So again Just a waiting process But it is nice That they do have depth At cornerback But Kevon Seymour Is even more depth I remember when he Initially Cause he initially uh, Somebody like Landed on his neck 
And it looked It didn't look too bad But it looked like Just one of those things Where it's like You can get a little stinger there Um, But then when he walked When he was walking To the blue tent He looked like he was straight So um, that's always a good thing When they can walk On their own power And whatnot I know every injury Is different too But that um, That gave me some Some more hope For Kevon Seymour So hopefully he'll be back too But Anyway, just had to give y'all that update on what's going on with these Baltimore Ravens. Um, we will, I guess we'll probably have something, th- just my assumption, I think we'll have something official on David Ajabo this week. This week, especially with Harbaugh like, actually saying it. Like he didn't, not that he didn't beat around the bush, he didn't say whatever the announcement, because he obviously knows what the announcement is, but he, uh, with him even saying that we will have an announcement on that soon. Uh, you got to feel like whatever is going to happen, whatever is being done, whatever is done is done already. Um, and that they already know how they're going to move forward with David Ajabo. So I think that's going to happen this week. Because I, I feel like if it, if it wasn't decided already, then he would have been like, oh, we're still, we're still seeing on some things. We're still, we're still checking some things out. Uh, we'll see how he progresses and whatnot. I think it would have said something like that. But the fact that he didn't and said we got an announcement, yeah, I think that's on the way. Real, real soon. Uh, something else that could be on the way real, real soon to you, your house personally is one of these Varsity jackets. If you want yours, you can go to standwithusclothing.com. Use code Engraven. Vid, use code Engraven for 10% off. Don't say I ain't trying to put you on. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. We out. <laughs>